this, the first of hopefully many Adobe Dreamweaver tutorials. I'm going to be giving you an introduction into the software package Dreamweaver, um, and it's a software package which allows you to easily create websites um, without just seeing a load of coding. You get to see what you're creating effectively. It's really powerful, really useful software, and professional companies all across the world will use it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up Adobe Dreamweaver. The icon looks a bit like this. So it's going to load, and then we should get this screen appearing. On the right, on, sorry, on the left-hand side, we've got the recent items that we created. In the middle, we have the uh, create new section with loads of different types of coding um, that we can create pages on. And on the right-hand side, we've got create from samples, and this is basically themes and style sheets, etc. You can play around with this later on. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new HTML document. So you simply click on it once, and this this screen should appear. And obviously there's a lot of buttons, um, there's a lot of things around, so it may, it may be daunting at first, but don't worry, it's all going to make sense later on. So the first thing that we can do is we can see up here all of the options. So we've got commands, text, so if we click on text just for an example, you can see different things like so the font, the style, bold, colour, etc. Modify, so you've got tables, images, etc. You can insert, you can insert images, image objects, uh, media, tables, forms, etc. Et it goes on and on and on. And then below this we have the um, the options. So we've got common, which is the common things that you expect to find on a website. We've got the layout, so things like menu bars. We've got the forms, so you can create login forms, etc. Um, buttons. We've got data, which is for basically creating databases of members and things like that. Various things that work with the server. Spira, which is uh, various uh, new scripting which can help with dynamic HTML. We've got text, so bold, italic, strong, emphasis, etc. It goes on and on and on. And then we've got favourites, so we can drag and drop our favourite things that we use a lot. Um, so for this I've obviously only put rollover images because I use them a lot um, and it's not on the common options. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you can see title here. We're going to type in the title which will appear at the very top. So this can be whatever you want. So this website was made, is made rather, in Dreamweaver. Once you're happy, press enter on the keyboard and the uh, cursor should then go down to the next screen. Now we've got three options here. We've got the design, the code and the split. Design is what we see and what the, the user will see when they log on to your website. So we've got a blank page obviously here. Split is where you see the coding at the top and the design at the bottom half of the screen. So this is what the users see again. And code is just the coding just a page of all the coding. So we're going to go to design for simplicity's sake so you can see it easily, see what you're doing. We're going to start by inserting an image. So to do this, we can go onto the common and we can insert the image. This box will come up um, asking you where the source of the image is. Obviously we can add all, uh, all the supported image types. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go into our folders, we're going to uh, go around, oh, I'm going to go I'm going to find an existing image somewhere uh, where it's going to be web. So just I'm just for example's sake, just finding a random image to add. Uh, let's try this. The image preview will appear on the right hand side, and obviously that's fine. Um, so once you're happy, press OK. Another dialog box may appear. If it doesn't, that's fine. Just press OK. Um, this you can either enter text description or you can just press OK. And our image is now being inserted. This is what the image will look like. We can resize it with the width here. So the width, we're going to just go 302 for the width. And again, 302 for the height. Because it was a square image, so it should remain square. Once you're happy, press enter. And the updated image size should appear. Um, so now that we've done that, we can uh, align it in the center. So you go down here and press align center. And it's suddenly aligned in the center. And as you can see, everything in this dotted box, which turns red when you drag the mouse over it, will remain in the center. So we can press enter, and now we can insert a table. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go to insert table, or you can press control, alt, t. Uh, it will open up this dialog box. We can select the number of rows and columns we want in the table, so six columns and one row. And we can select the table width. We can either do percent or pixels. Obviously, if we do percent, that will be 960 percent, 960 times the width of the screen. So we're going to just do it in pixels. And we've got our six columns here. So we can start doing a menu bar. So we can type in home. We can go to the next column, about, and the next column, videos. You can do, obviously, whatever you want. 
um, and next column is links perhaps, next column could be services and the last com column could be contact. So now that we've entered the text you can see it's all aligned to the left of each column uh, so to speak. So we can highlight all of them and at the bottom we can go to align in the centre again and they've all aligned in the centre of each of the columns. Now this is the default text so we can obviously, while they're still aligned, change the font to uh, Arial, the size we can make we can make it as big as, or as small as we want, so we can make it 36 or we can make it a 12, but we're going to make it 16 which is roughly a good size to start with. We can add links to some of this text, so highlight the text that you want to link and as you'll see at the bottom it should say link here. So we can link to either a website, so http www.google.com, press enter once you're happy with the link, or we could add a local file, so we're going to do about.html, again press enter once you're happy and the link should uh, be, the link is now ready to use. We can do this for all of them, but for, say, for example, say we're only going to do it with two. Now we can go to File, Save, and we can save the uh, document as whatever name we want to save it, index or about, but we do not have to add .html uh, to the end. We can just leave it as, uh, as the file name and it will add .html to the end and it will save it in the right format. So once you're happy, go ahead, press save, and we can now minimize Dreamweaver, and on the desktop you'll see it's created a new page called About. So we can go ahead and we can open this up in our default internet browser. So for example, Google Chrome, and it's opened it up. We can see the image, we can see the title at the very top, and we can see the uh, table with the menu links. Obviously the first two are the only two that are working, so if we press home, it has gone to Google. If we go back and we go to About, it's gone to About.html, which is the, uh, the uh, file that we were already on. So that's a quick play around in Adobe Dreamweaver. Have fun, go explore, and thanks for watching. Obviously there'll be more Dreamweaver tutorials coming up soon. Please don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and of course, subscribe. Thanks guys.